creativity. It's all around you. It's what you imagine and make real. But what is it that you imagine and what do you make real? What inspires us Indians to be so creative? Is it the colors found in nature? Is it the yearning to be desirable? Is it about finding solutions to a problem? Is it also about storytelling? Is it just about entertainment? Is it love, passion, innovation or more? Let's find out and explore. We are Manil Rohit, brothers and artists, and we're here to take you for a deep dive into the world of creativity. Let's meet the creative Indians. important about Rohit Bal as a person is that unlike what most people would think about him he's actually quite a shy person and is not the stereotypical outgoing and wild and crazy person that most people think he is he uh, likes to stick to himself he uh, doesn't like to talk about himself like what I'm doing right now is very embarrassing for me I've never ever referred to myself in first person if, if you know what I'm trying to say uh, but at the end he's an honest person he's uh, forthright straightforward and most importantly, like I said right at the beginning, very down to earth and grounded. Well, what do you say about Rohit Bal? You know, he's the living legend of Indian fashion. He's seen industry grow right from the start and to what it is now. It all starts here. I mean, you talk about fashion, this is the name that comes first. He's majestic, he's opulent, he's grand. He's India embodied in the best way you know, it can ever be. And imagine, he's been at the top of his game for almost like more than 25 years, you know. Uh, and uh, I don't think there's any other reason less why, why we should be here. So it's we're just really curious to see how is he and what all is there in store for us. How are you doing? Are you? Very good. Nice to meet you. Thanks. You? Nice to meet you. For your time. Rohit, thank you so much for, for having us here. It's it's just been overwhelming and I don't have enough words, you know. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to be here. I, I'm very curious to know, 25 years, more than 25 years uh, being in the industry, you started out being the top. You're still at the top. You keep pushing the boundaries year after year. How do you push yourself? Actually, I don't push myself. And I think that's what makes it easy. I think uh, when you push yourself too much and you try too hard, uh, it stops working. I think as long as you are still doing what you're doing with passion and you're still doing um, only things that you want to do, if you uh, carry on with your own design philosophy, uh, it becomes much easier. It's a rare uh, privilege to be in this position where everything is flowing naturally out of you and you know, you're just enjoying your work without feeling like it's work. So when did you realize that you know, this is where I have to be, creativity or fashion? Uh, I don't think that you realize this at one any one given moment in time. I think this is a realization that keeps growing and I think it's a process. I think that when you realize that you want to do something creative, you've already, you've already started doing it. So it's not that you uh, think of it and then you start. True. It actually starts happening and then you realize. Then so it's a realization more than a beginning. It's just something that surrounds you, you develop within it. And I think uh, your sensibility, your, uh, your entire ethos becomes a part of that growth, that part of that evolution of you being who you are. So I think it's really not about any one particular moment in time. It's really an ongoing process. I still feel that I'm still in that process. When we talk about your language, opulence is something that you don't give credit to Kashmir, but something like grandeur is something that you've definitely embodied. You know, so is that something that again you do give give credit to Kashmir, or no, how, I, where does it come from in you? No, I think that everything about Kashmir is actually really breathtakingly beautiful. Everything that I do, in every collection that I've done till now, it will always have a chunk, not a part, but a chunk of Kashmir. Grandeur is really just a part, another part of my personality. And uh, 
I am not grand myself. Uh, like I said, I'm not. You're shy. I'm quite the opposite. But what I do is grand. I never think about the fact that I'm. I want to do something grand. It just happens and turns out that way. Is that uh, right when me. when they call you the bad boy of the industry? Well, you know the term we're talking about is, is enfant terrible, which basically actually doesn't mean a bad boy at all because terrible in French does not mean bad. It actually means a chosen one, mm. or it means a, a distinct one. Well, yeah. It means so if you actually look at the actual translation, it's an extremely complimentary term, and I'm very happy that it's been given to me because that's exactly happily who I want to be accepted. Absolutely accepted and, and cherished. It's interesting the way your your color palette is. Mm -hmm. You know, in most of your work, extension of all your works, uh, which is the golds, which would be a royal blue, which would be a wine color, or an off white. white. You know, you still represent India, which is known to be a land of colors. Yet you've got your own color palette. The extremes that I have, in as far as I'm concerned, as a personality, are I think the best uh, the best example I can give you. Is I have two favorite fabrics. Mm -hmm. One is the most basic fabric of of all, which is muslin, malmal, a fabric which is really just the most basic form of cotton. I think a muslin, which India was famous for two, three thousand years ago. That's you know really uh, my favorite fabric. And on the other extreme, my favorite fabric is velvet, which really is a fabric for of royalty, fabric of you know opulence. You want to call true, it. True. So these two fabrics being my favorite, and I mix them both, which, some, which is something which most people. Well, I either can't do or don't want to do. True. That explains my kind of the paradox of uh, you are. of uh, well, well, I don't know if I am, but that explains it better than anything else. Going back to your time to your from roots, where you to, to your roots, your roots. Uh, from where you started out as a new boy, you know, mm. entering Delhi, and you know, you got the market attention. You you sort of took over the scene, and from where you now. How do you think you've transformed as a person all over the years? Actually, I haven't transformed as a person at all. I'm still the same person. Overall, I would much rather be all alone. Not all alone. I'd much rather be with maybe a friend or two. Uh, quiet, very quiet. Your time, your and, you know, this is like a perception. Everyone, whoever I meet, this is really strange, and I've never been able to understand why. Whoever I meet, whether it's a client or a friend, when it's a one-on-one, -on -one, or even if I'm meeting them with a small group of people, they all turn around and say to me. My God, you're nothing like what we imagined you to be. So I always go, what did you, what did you imagine me to be? I can say Is that everything that you aren't. You know, and it's been a revelation, you know, knowing all this and breaking that, you know, cliche persona which has been projected. And I think it's a great learning and experience for us. And yeah, but I, I want to know. I appreciate your words. Thank seriously, you. Seriously, like, what's yeah. what's that? Curious now. What is that one thing that you would actually feel you could you'd want to change about? Say fashion industry per se. Or oh, these these perceptions or projections. Uh, you are everything. Uh, you need to be everything. You see, this is another thing that uh, is important for a lot of the younger uh, designers out there, who, who you know, who are just coming out of design school. There is no substitute for hard work. Absolutely none whatsoever. You have to have great aesthetics. Whatever those aesthetics might be, they could be kitsch, they could be classic, they could be whatever. But you've got to have a great sense of whatever you believe in. To ask. <laughs> yeah, and you've got to love your job. And, uh, you really have it. to love what you do, otherwise it's not you possible. Can't, you can't survive. And I think this is a, such a profound and clear message for all these youngsters. It really is a very clear message. <laughs> We're talking about learning. We have with us a student here from the Pearl Academy. Right. And uh, she's part of a mentorship come experiential program and she's been here hearing you out, listening to you and she's keen on, on talking to you and asking you something. Yeah? Sounds Should lovely. Should we get her here? Absolutely. Sadhvi? Thank you so much for having me on this show. It's been a wonderful experience. Thank you so yes. much for coming here. So like you have a very high profile clientele and you've been designing for various Bollywood stars like including Amitabh Bachchan, Sonam Kapoor. But uh, what is it that has kept you away from styling for Bollywood movies? Uh, well, I think they're tantrums. Uh, I can't bear any tantrums from anyone. And I, I know that even though they're all friends of mine, uh, Bollywood stars have an incredible amount of ego yes. and they are very, very self-obsessed. And I can't uh, cater to that ego and I, I can't uh, 
deal with them. I can't work with them. I make clothes for them one on one. I am very close to them one on one. But when it comes to this whole thing of Bollywood as a unit, it becomes fairly intolerable. And uh, full marks to all the people who design for films, uh, Bollywood films. But for me, it's much, much easier and far nicer to deal with these Bollywood stars one on one. Dress them up individually, and you know they wear all my clothes for red carpet events, and uh, when they travel or for all the stuff uh, that we want to do, and they do. Thank you so much for having me here. Thank, Thank you, you for coming here, and all the best. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thanks, Bye. Thanks so much for your time. This has been I don't have words to explain. I'm so glad that you really opened your heart out here. You know? um, Thank you for having me on this show. It's been an, an incredible experience. Hope you glad. Wonderful talking to both of you. Let's so catch this. I think before we moment. leave, uh, I can't let you go without you know taking a little picture of us. I don't want to go without you taking a picture. <laughs> awesome. I'm right here. Cool, cool. Well, I am Archie J, and then I am also the Snake Charmer. My act is called the Snake Charmer, and uh, it's my YouTube uh, act that where I put a lot of my backpipe videos. So when I wanted to learn backpipes, since there was no teacher here available for the sort of education backwards that I wanted to seek. I was only left with an e-book and that's how I started teaching myself my first few lessons on how to start and trust me it was terrible at <laughs> the beginning of it. I think I'm driven towards what I want to uh, do and uh, I'm pretty headstrong. If I put my mind into something, I don't see all the ways it cannot be done. I try to dig and find out all the ways it can be done. And that's one of the major traits of my personality. And I like doing things a little different, things that are a little badass. That's, that's what Archie is probably all about. So when you are following a thing like this, which involves your passion and talent, whatever, you should also make the smart moves. No matter what instrument you're playing, Try to keep experimenting with the sound. Listen and grasp things and take chances. experience of our life seeing the journeys of these stalwarts you know yeah and we and we're happy we, we were able to achieve what we set out for uh, you know reaching out to these diverse people in India like very diverse you know from silicon prosthetics to stand-up comedy and uh, it has been really like fruitful and satisfying meeting these people their life stories are so inspiring that we are like personally touched and uh, they're opening different doors for us and uh, we're here to celebrate this, we're happy. It's a celebration, but we're sad this is getting over. It's been amazing, you know, to see the process of every artist and designer, to see how they have opened us you know, to us to, to showcase what they have gone through, their struggles, their journeys, culminating this entire night and uh, hoping that everybody had a great journey. And uh, yeah, yep. there's, there's, there's a lot to see in the night itself. There's, we're revealing the show, there's some performances 
and so much creative juice flowing anyways yeah so, and and uh, you know uh, a great word and an important word to a uh, thanks rather to all the people who have been part of the show our production team which is which is just the most amazing team we've ever worked with the kind of fun that we've had uh, you know so it's it's been a humbling experience and i hope you all enjoyed creative innings i know when it started from like very small but now i see this season they have reach another level which is basically there's not just stuck to the artist they are going for fashion designers photographers choreographers prosthetic artists which is a good thing because a lot of people don't know the creative side of those people so their journey so that is a good part so it's a good show i think that the show is a stupendous effort you know to bridge the gap between art design fashion music and bring it out to a wider audience that does not know so much about these creative fields manil and rohit are doing an amazing job manil and rohit are the most wonderful humans i know and when they reveal the most creative indians magic happens i think it's very 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 major to be doing something so unique creativity is at its peak right now and we really need to put it out there in the world and It's just great that we have a platform now, you know. All this time everything was hidden and now everything comes to the front thanks to Manal and Rohit. What a fantastic evening and what a fantastic showcase for the show that's coming up. Can't wait to actually watch it. It's really got the curiosity going. The kind of talent they've picked up. When they say creativity, it's actually really diverse. It's things I couldn't even have imagined. I think it's a very very interesting concept. and as an artist myself i think it's high time that a show like this comes out where not just the art but actually the process gets covered so yeah i think it's a great initiative Well, the show is very, very electric, and the best part is that it really, really capture uh, the artists who are distinctive, who are not right there, but then uh, people who are really, really talented. So I think that's something which really draws me uh, to come to the show and then uh, see them and explore them. I think Rohit Manil are something out of the ordinary. They're doing something which has never been explored on a national television, which is uh, exploring an artist's mind. I think the show is really fantastic because it brings together young people, fresh, free people. It's not like a, an old fuddy-duddy version of art. It's very new and it's very current. That's what I like about this show. I really love the whole concept of bringing the process under which art is finally made, so that everybody start finding. uh finding inspiration in themselves that okay this is how things started and this is how it was made so i really love the whole essence of the show i think the show creative indians is a fantastic platform for young talent to be showcased uh to the larger audience As a show I think the creative indians is an extremely progressive and a fresh idea it looks into the personal space of the creative person it is the process of design that you uh, bring out in in your show and i think it's wonderful to be on the show to be able to express myself uh, completely and absolutely I think the idea of creative indians is amazing because we have so many creative people in this country and we keep looking to the west for you know good aesthetic and good ideas and we keep thinking they're better or something and and everybody's right here the high level of creative talent is here and now we're going to see them in action I think it's fascinating you know creative indians as a show is uh, very exciting to me because one thing is there when you try to see what goes into brain of creative artists rather than just look at the final product i always valued process more than the product so the process is what excites me and what i get to see behind amazing brains um, which are right now making india a beautiful place i think the creative indians as a concept is absolutely unique because 
there are many shows that try to you know interview the lives of artists from different genres but this show is different not does it just showcase the lives of the artists but also shows you the process of what the artist goes through it gives you a moment to get into the mind of the artist and in my case the mind the body the soul you get to see all of it and and i feel like that's what gives people a chance to understand this process and associate with the art form through the show creative people are by are they really they're interesting their minds are slightly off kilter i suppose and so it's always worth listening because to just see things in the uh, like you said by rote or just by facts as not as interesting as the creative mind is truly um, a universe i suppose it's like a imploding galaxy it's a great platform to combine everything from art fashion photography stand up comedy and put it together and serve it to india and talk about the new young modern india is what is it all about and all the artists who welcomed us opened their stories to us and uh, because it's always a nice experience to know the person behind the art it's always different or same that's a story and all the sponsors all the partners who've supported because this is important this is important to do this and it's important to make this happen in a regular thing because india needs this right now so thank you to all of them and hopefully i'll say this is how it goes transform today make smiles and be somebody you know and watch out for season 2 yeah see you guys back Yeah, rolling. Uh, it. I have to speak louder. Two questions for you. Do I look at you? Hint, hint, wink, wink.